Hello, this is Susan Taylor Shire, and I am thrilled to be with you today to ignite your soul purpose so that you can live life on all cylinders and go from feeling that you're in a meaningless life to a meaningful place in your life. Wouldn't it be great when I say to live on all cylinders, to feel like you have intuitive wisdom, connection to the voice of your soul, and a heart full of joy to be able to have all cylinders going. From the vast to the very practical, and that's what is so important these days. We don't have time to take all day to make one little decision. We're making choices constantly, making decisions continually. And I want you to feel as though your soul, your intuition, your quiet voice inside, and your heart is helping you immensely in making those decisions. So I know what it feels like to feel as though I have this intuition, but I'm not sure how to develop it. What do I do with it? I don't want to be psychic, but I certainly would like to utilize what it feels like it can give me safely. Also, it can feel as though, wow, I would love to be more purposeful in my life, but I'm exhausted and I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I can't imagine taking that leap of starting to listen to that voice inside and trust it. I don't even have time to do these tips, let alone big stuff. And what about those voices in you that say, I want to have a much greater influence in life and a contribution, but where do I start? And I can't make a big, big um, change in life like that. What would I do with my life? I've got all these great ideas, but how do I get the momentum to get there? Oh, it makes me tired just thinking of it. I understand. That's why we're going to give you some fantastic tips today about how to do that. So let's do that and get started. And here we go. Secret number one, divinely inspired by my guidance system. I started out thinking that I had a few guides maybe, or that would be nice, and then realized, wow, there's a whole collective that's here for me helping me to bring forward my gifts. I want you to have that sense of a collective as well, a vastness, a beauty, a wealth available to you. So, divinely inspired secret number one. Go into what you're feeling right now. Tired, I feel tired. Part of your body is feeling in pain. My knee hurts so badly or my back is killing me. Or I am so sad because I just can't get ahead of the game. So feel that feeling that you've got going right now. Be honest with yourself. Whatever it is, is just fine. And then take a breath. Take a breath. You can even put your hand on your heart and say after me, without connection, I feel so tired. Without connection, I feel so sad. Or without connection, I have got this amazing fear I can't let go of. Here's the key, without connection. Yeah, because that's really what's happening. Without connection, you do feel those ways. Now, when you turn your attention to that, then you start realizing, wow, without connection, all I need to do is make a connection, right? And then you flip it to, with connection, I could feel happy again. With connection, I could feel like I have a little juice going. With connection, I might feel like this pain in my back is not completely stopping my life. Wouldn't that be great? So start to think in those terms when you have these feelings of limitation and challenge. All you have to do is add that piece when I'm connected and you start to turn it around. Start with one feeling what you're feeling 
two, go to without connection, I feel this way. Three, with connection, I could feel. And you start to open the door again to being where you want to be. Tip number two for you, the secret of divinely inspired intuition brought forward. How do you make that connection? Mm -hmm. First of all, you have to know that that connection comes to life in your heart. So you're going to make connection to spirit, to your higher self, to your soul, whatever it is for you, and bring it into your heart. A very simple, amazing way to do that that works every time. I want you to take a breath. Ah, feel your heart. You can keep your hand on your heart if you'd like. And imagine in your mind's eye a star, one single star. Maybe it's in the night sky. Maybe it's in the night sky. Imagine that it's the North Star, that star we know that has led people for centuries to where they want to be. We're going to let it help you get where you want to be. So imagine that star. You can close your eyes, take another breath, feel that star in the night sky. And as you feel or see that star in the night sky, imagine that star is just there for you, completely there for you, always has been, always will be. A star you can give a name. And connected to that star is the universe. The universe of you, the universe of creation, available to you through that star. That is your guiding star. Maybe you think, oh, I've just made this up. Well, you have, it's your creative imagination, but that's how spirit works. Now bring that star down into your heart. Just plaster it on there like a tattoo and feel or see what starts to happen. It may not be immediate, but as you hold that star, that is your unique star connected to the whole universe of guidance, of love, of support, of abundance, Know that that abundance, that love, support, star is there with you and for you. As you breathe it into your heart, feel your heart starting to relax. Feel yourself developing a relationship with that star that will guide you. The more you keep that star in your heart, the more that connection will grow. And you will start to trust your heart when you have to make a choice, you come into your heart and go, what would the star of wonder, star of wisdom, bring now of my decision and my choice? And watch the magic happen. It's a great way to change the way you think, change the way you approach life, change the way you make choices. I am thrilled to support you in your ongoing path of movement towards your soul purpose, exploding so you can live on all cylinders. And what I have for you next is much more wisdom, much more support coming from the resources of your soul that I want you to explore. How to have the power, the passion, and the sense of purpose you deserve to bring your life to fulfillment to make a contribution that feels fulfilling, to be able to feel that your heart is free, abundant, and joyful, and you can start to even make a difference in your very own health by feeling you live a soul-infused life. Stay tuned below because we're going to be sharing with you in words on the paper below how to get in touch with me to go further with this. I'm so excited to meet you, greet you in your soul-infused moment at this point in time. May it flourish and grow and be the bounty of all that you wish for it to be.